Sonic the Hedgehog has certainly been busy throughout the past decade, with the success of his movie, a new comic series, animated TV shows and shorts, and a number of good games. I mean, a couple good games. It really does seem like there's no end for this blue hedgehog fuck. The first Sonic game came out in 1991 and it became an instant classic and it made everyone want a Sega Mega Drive. Although a lot of fans can still appreciate it, the first Sonic game is widely considered to be the weakest of the classics. I mean you got no spin dash, you only play as Sonic, there are only three items and the level design can get pretty tricky. Sega probably knows this, which is why every single time they re-release Sonic 1, they put in the spin dash or something else. I just think it's such a fucking shame though that the best version of Sonic 1 is only on my fucking phone. Something must be done. And thankfully, the hacking and fan gaming community have made their own versions of Sonic 1. So I just thought it might be interesting to look at all these different remakes and remixes for the original Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic 1 Special Version is a Sonic 1 ROM hack created by a user named Edit Chris. With quite a good number of visual, musical, and moveset changes. For example, you can now spin dash and super banana peel out. There's also a homing attack and a little jump dash, but the jump dash is basically just a homing attack except without the homing. There's also this really weird water skipping move that's pretty fucking useless since 90% of the time you'll be underwater whenever there's water. All of the Eggman fights are left relatively unchanged, but his health got increased to the point where it can just take ages just to finish the damn fights. Like, look at this final boss fight. I almost died by the time limit. And if I did die, I would have, have to start the whole thing over again. One cool thing I like is that each level throughout the zone has a different layout and a new aesthetic. It actually made me really like Labyrinth Zone because you get so many different color variations between the background and the water. Like, compare this with the original that fucking disgusting green and yellow combo that looks like somebody puked all over the screen. Also, that music, it kicks so much ass, man. There's a playlist on YouTube, so I really recommend listening to it. There are a few things that kind of bug me with this hack. Like the fact that Sonic is the only playable character, and some of the levels have way too many speed up items and invincibility items. Oh, so there's that issue I talked about earlier with Eggman and how many hits he takes. Oh shit, I forgot. <laughs> uh, there's also a... Uh... Original mode, which as the name implies, it just lets you play the original zones. With all that said, I think this ROM hack is worth checking out, and it still holds up after 6 years. Now, I'm not exactly sure what Edic Chris is up to now, and I just couldn't find anything about him. So, I'm 
thinking it's safe to assume that there won't be no updates anytime soon. Sonic 1 HD is an HD remake of Sonic 1 by someone from France? I don't know. That's the only thing I could find about him. He's just known as Sonic Remake on his blog and YouTube channel. Now, this is pretty weird. So, this actually started development back in 2012, but only just had a demo release in 2018. That's right, six years had passed before we had an actual playable build, but only Green Hill Zone Act 1. With all that said though, I think the demo is okay. The game seems to run at a very smooth 60fps, and the visuals, while not very HD or detailed, seems to at least do a good job at keeping the cartoon feel of Sonic. The level itself isn't even a one-to-one -one recreation though. Like, there's missing enemies, objects, and items, which I kind of find strange. And there are also a couple bugs and glitches, like being able to jump through the tunnels, going through spikes when you're hurt, and the entire existence of this fucking loop. Like, look at this shit. I go through the top, I go through the fucking middle. I feel like I'm playing Sonic 06 with this thing. Now, my favorite glitch is this thing where if I die up here, I survive the fall and I live past it and softlock the game and even crash it. The game softlocks even if I finish the level. It's such a fucking mess, but I had fun overall and I guess something is better than nothing after six years, right? If you check his blog, he hasn't updated since 2013, so I'm pretty sure this project's cancelled, unless I hear something from him on his YouTube page. Alright, now let's talk about Green Hill Zone 2.5D, or otherwise known as GHZ 2.5D. Fuck. Fuck it, I'm just gonna call it Sonic 2.5. So, Sonic 2.5 also has a very interesting history when it comes to it and its creator, Andrew75. Andrew at first was developing a fan game based off Sonic Extreme, the cancelled Sega Saturn game. It was called Project AXSX and it would be using old images and footage from Sonic Extreme to help create assets. Although, they were quickly scrapped with official assets that were leaked throughout the years. And so, during that time in 2007, Andrew and someone named Zenic Zone created Sonic 2.5. Now, interestingly enough, Sonic 2.5 was never meant to be shown in public and was only made in order to help improve AXSX and other future game projects. However, for Sage 2012, Andrew decided to release a demo for Sonic 2.5, and that was pretty much it for that. Anyway, about the game, as the name implies, this is basically Green Hill Zone in a 2.5D layout, and it's just the first level. The physics are really good, although Sonic kind of feels heavy whenever I jump with him. The whole look of the game is actually kind of nice. Sonic's Step changes depending on if you're on the foreground or background, and everything is completely 3D besides some of the rings, enemies, and Sonic himself. Every single texture is also apparently custom made or heavily edited versions of the original sprites. Kinda interesting to think how much effort this guy put in this thing when it was originally not even supposed to be shown in public. There are still a couple of minor glitches, although there's this really big one called the spike bug. Like this was a bug back in the original Sonic 1 and it's still here. Other than that though, I really enjoyed this demo and it was really promising. Like this was apparently meant to be something bigger, with Green Hill Zone just being a placeholder for whatever he was thinking of doing next. Now, however, there hasn't been anything new since 2012 besides a couple of random videos on YouTube. Either way, I really hope this helped him become a better developer, and I cannot wait to see what he has in store for Project AXSX. Wait, what? Alright, anyway, the last remake I'll be talking about here is Sonic 1 Remastered. This ROM hack was made by a Team Mega Mix member known as Puto? 
What? I, Dios mío. Yeah, I know, I know. It can also mean some kind of Filipino rice cake, but that guy is Portuguese. So it's definitely that version of Puto. Okay, anyway, he specializes in sound and has created countless custom music imports and even ported Sonic 1's sound driver to Sonic 2. Even though Puto is mostly known for working on Sonic Mega Mix as a programmer and musician, he still managed to make a couple personal projects that put characters like Super Sonic and Tails in Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, his first and probably most famous ROM hack though is Sonic 1 Remastered which doesn't actually make any edits to the levels and textures but instead focuses on making characters and custom music. Which is absolutely fine considering this was more or less just meant to be an experiment for his future work. Now version 1.1 was the last official version of this game released back in 2007 but there's a version 2 that was apparently leaked at one point. So for this I'm just gonna cover version 2. The only real differences between between these two games is that Green Hill Zone has an entirely different layout in version 2. Also, they finally added Knuckles and Elemental Shields. You can also find special rings now in Green Hill, and I would imagine they would have been in every zone if this wasn't cancelled. There are also options now for different music, which is something I've always wanted from a Sonic hack. There are also a couple of nice toggles, like ring retaining between acts, and also auto rolling which kind of sounds cool, but all it does just makes you roll when you run off a ledge, so it's pretty useless. Special stages now also unlock different moves for Sonic and friends. Like for example, Sonic can unlock the Super Banana Peel Out, or an instant spin dash, which is pretty broken. Or even Super Sonic. I gotta be honest, this new Green Hill is so good. It's pretty big, and there's a good amount of secret areas that will reward you for exploring and encourages revisits with other characters. If this was how every zone would have been in the finished product, then this could have easily been one of the best Sonic ROM hacks ever made. Probably even better than Sonic Mega Mix. Now, that was sadly all he wrote. It's such a huge shame that the project, along with plans for a 32X version and a Sonic 2 Remastered, were cancelled sometime after 2008. So, what has Putu been up to then? Well, sometime after 1.1, he did create this program called XM4 XM4 SMPS which became a very useful tool for hackers to put in their custom music and other Sonic ROM hacks. But recently though, he's been making fan subs for anime, and judging by his profile on Sonic Retro, I don't think he's currently working on any big Sonic hacks right now. Now, with all that said, I can and always will appreciate all he's done for the community and what Sonic 1 Remastered has done for him and everyone.